Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about the best open field marches, hero pairs. Every single season we are discussing what's the best hero pairs for every single legion type in the game. We are currently pay playing into this season sub 2, which is the newest season currently in the Call of Dragons. And we are going to discuss what's the best possible hero pairs to fight against real enemies, which means open field battles, PvPs, uh, getting married, statue wars, or in general fighting against other alliances. As always, we are going to start with the marksman section, and here we have the newest additions, which is Magrot and Zaida. And without a doubt, Magrot and Zaida have been the best performing and possibly the best damage dealer hero pair in the game. They are the newest style of the marksman currently, uh, more of a healing auto attacker style, and of course, um, the, if you go to Margrot and Zaida together, they, their power level are so big that it's impossible to uh, hide it and it's impossible to not use them. Of course, in the game, while these two new legendary heroes were uh, come out, we have a new uh, legendary artifact for this hero pair, which is, uh, we're gonna see it right now. The new hero pair's uh, best possible artifact is Gilded Crossbow, right? Gilded Crossbow is dealing diffuse damage to three nearby legions, uh, increases your march speed to 40%, and there is a physical damage, the 650, and also what's important, it increases your legion enemy HP bypass by up to 7%, which means like, doesn't really matter about the HP buffs, it will bypass those HP buffs up to 7%. What makes this hero pair so amazing? Well, basically, uh, their main idea and main strategy is all about healing uh, both like for example Magrat is giving, lo giving a lot of healing to the uh, Legion which is uh, paired with Zaida and whenever Zaida is receiving healing she is dealing a lot of damage also the big plus if you are marksman player you have to have a marksman garrison unit a garrison hero in order for your uh, garrison to use marksman troops so finally at the marksman player we got the new hero which is garrison uh, generally whenever new two heroes come out to the game they are the most popular and the most strongest ones that's actually normal because let's imagine new two heroes comes out and they are worse than what we have it would not give us much of an interest to the game so if you are a marksman player like me you should be really really happy because currently i think uh, magrat and zaida is the best hero pair in the whole game uh, between every single legion type and of course they are the best if we are only speaking about marksmen the next one uh, with mages and it will be surprising for many other people that still lilia and Welin uh, is the strongest open field pvp battle uh, hero pair in the game simply because scorch of the lilia and Welin's amazing skills like a defense penetration is just too much like let's just uh, simply undercover why the lilia is so strong uh, i need to mention that if you are playing lilia as a 5-1-1-1 that's not uh, gonna work it's not the best possible way uh, lilia is utilized whenever she is awakened simply because you will be able to uh, apply scorch to two nearby legions and scorch is one of the best damage dealer synergy in the whole game simply because whenever you are fighting during the wars against enemies and you have like 50 20 legions around your battlefield you are applying scorch scorch is simply like the better version of the poison which is dealing huge amount of damage yeah i can understand the bertrand and tohar is a new heroes new mage heroes but you can imagine how strong lilia and Welling as a hero pair is that still uh, after such a long time Time, this hero pair is dealing amazing amount of damage especially if you are tier 5 player you are going to love playing with Lilia and Welin uh, as an artifact well it's pretty simple which artifact will be suitable uh, for Lilia and Welin and that's of course Infernal Flame 
Uh, it's pretty easy to understand why it's magic PvP assault, uh, magic legion uh, attack uh, attributes, and what's the most unique part about Infernal Flame is that your legion gains magic kin when the wielder inflicts scorch on enemies. Magic kin is giving you 15% more magic attack damage bonus for 5 seconds. This effect can be triggered once every 10 seconds. And well, it's pretty obvious, Lilia is the main scorch applier, and you are going to apply the infernal flame buff to the, your, your enemy and to yourself uh, pretty often right like synergy is pretty simple if you have Lilia awakened if you have infernal flame that's the way to go if you are mage player even if you are not a mage player you will be have a lot of use in terms of Infernal Flame and Lilia and Welling. Uh, after that, the next one is Cavalry, which I have mentioned many, many times that Cavalry is one of the weakest Legion type in the game. Uh, like, it's it's only good if you are going to one versus one duels or you are going to catch, for example, Marksmen or Mage Legions around the battlefield. But honestly, uh, in this game, combat gameplay is so good that whenever there is huge wars against a lot of Legions around the battlefield there is almost no use uh, of the cavalry units but still we have to mention them and we need to see that Theodore and Emrys is the best uh, open field PvP hero pair in the game. Uh, in my opinion, Theodore is really underrated. Like uh, he has really, really amazing synergies uh, in terms of skill set, which we're gonna discuss right now. For example, uh, here HP reduction up to 30%. Can you imagine, like whenever you are entering the battle and you are straight up? Uh, reducing like a 30 percent of the enemy hp by just fighting like it means your enemy will have uh, 30 percent less hp while they are fighting with you that's already enough for me to understand how amazing theodore will be as a hero pair as a cavalry uh, hero pair and of course awakening skill theodore legion takes 25 percent less normal attack damage it's pretty obvious that in general cavalry heroes and cavalry legions are dying pretty quickly and this will help us to uh, stay alive longer in order for us to deal more and more damage of course kill damage factor is really high that's the main uh, type of damage whenever you are playing as a cavalry why emrys well uh, there is not a better hero pair for theodore in my opinion uh, whenever you are choosing emrys as a cavalry hero pair it means you want to use your rage as much as possible uh, rage accumulation speed 40% also uh, Emrys by itself has a pretty high um, skill damage factor which is beneficiary for every single cavalry hero pair as always like march speed um, like uh, getting more damage dealt uh, bonus and also hero skill damage like in general Emrys is one of the most viable heroes in the game as a free to play player or as a pay to win player that's why I think uh, Theodore and Emrys uh, is like like the best cavalry hero pair especially if you are tier 5 player if you are tier 4 player i would not generally rec recommend to play with the cavalry because you will be pretty squishy and you won't be able to deal damage because you are going to die pretty soon so if you like to run around the battlefield and you like to have a high march speed uh try to get theodore because having emrys is really easy uh, you will get emrys tokens by just simply opening the gold keys uh which we currently have uh, in general for the theodore emrys um hero pair the main artifact is of course spring blades uh, that's like my in my opinion the best cavalry artifact especially for pvp like you are throwing blades uh, to the three near three legions uh, around the circle and it's spinning dealing damage whenever it come whenever blades are coming back you are dealing more damage so like in total you are pretty much destroying anybody who is on the way also you are getting passion uh, and key attack 15% uh, more for 5 seconds and I think that the currently the best uh, cavalry artifact in the game if you got spring blades if you got Theodore and I'm sure you have Emery's you are going to be really really happy about your cavalry hero pair up next is infantry uh, infantry have been the rising star uh, of the past season simply because how strong Gorish and Skolgul have been uh, that's the best infantry hero 
Cooper so far in the game and it's been like that for a while right now it's pretty hard to imagine uh, what kind of new infantry hero pair will come out that will be stronger than this one but so far we got these two and everybody is really happy about this hero pair right Koresh and Skolgul they look like similar in terms of theme uh, they deal a lot of damage they are really really tanky uh, they have amazing synergies in terms of like for example Skolgul bonus HP you are having bonus HP again uh, here max attack bonus like in this uh, hero pair uh, generally in the past we had like couple of styles of infantry one was more of a HP with a Garwood second one was more of a counter attack damage with Madeline but for the Gorish and Skolgul they have everything they have tankiness they have counter attack damage they have their own damage which they are applying really really uh, fast to enemies of course uh, infantry is amazing while you have tier 5 units Units, and it gives you so much tankiness that it's almost impossible uh, for you to die fast and whenever infantry is not killed really really fast it's really really hard uh, for enemy to move around and in general I think uh, infantry is one of the most important uh, legion type during wars during roots of war statues because without infantry it will be really hard for push or defend against enemies in terms of uh, artifact well there is pretty easy to understand which artifact will be amazing for Goresh and Skolgul and that's uh, spirit bone talk uh, like stats infantry unit defense legion defense which is gonna make you even stronger and what's unique about this artifact is that it grants 600 rage points uh, and taunts up to five surrounding enemies Taunting 5 legions, enemy legions for 3 seconds, that's already enough to change the whole perspective of the battlefield and that's the another way, another reason why I like this hero pair so much for the infantry lovers. Also you are getting shelter uh, determination for 30 seconds shelter is giving you 15 percent defense and determination normal attack damage taken minus five percent uh, it's an amazing uh, hero pair and also we have additional effect infantry units in your legion deal 10 percent more counter attack damage so basically this hero pair has everything uh, defense attack counter attack damage bonus debuffs and they look actually kind of cool i don't see see any other hero pairs which has a better weapons than these bad boys uh, up next is also flying um, legion type which is pretty interesting because uh, in my opinion flying uh, hero pairs are already mages because i think uh, celestials have been the best one so far but in my opinion um, wyverns are getting closer and closer we are just missing one hero especially good for the wyverns which i think we will gonna have have in a future seasons so far in my opinion in terms of flying at, at first we need to put Thea uh, simply because with Thea everything is great and for example if you are playing Celestials you are having Bertrand and Thea as a, your hero pair if you are playing with Wilderberg you are choosing uh, Craig and Thea which I'm using currently and I'm really really happy about this hero pair and if you are playing with Spring Wardens and you are playing with uh, Eagles you are are getting four on deal uh, that's the uh, like um, ordinary version like best one will be Bertrand and Thea second one would be uh, Craig and Thea and the next one would be uh, four on deal and Thea that's the order from the best to the worst and let's just discuss um, why they are so good like at first we need to understand Bertrand the Bertrand is like single damage dealer a major hero which will be great as long as it stays alive it's especially good because we have a skill talentry and in general for a mage uh, legions and mage hero pairs skill talentry is one of the best one the precision is the best one for the marksman and the tank is best one for the uh, infantry and also mobility is great for the cavalry well bertrand is great whenever you have time uh, on the battlefield uh, like simply because you want to apply those golden marks as much as possible and that's the main idea how you are going to deal damage as 
as a Bertrand uh, uh, hero and the Bertrand Legion. Of course, um, uh, adding like 200, 200 magic damage as an awakening skill is not that important in my opinion. Uh, that's why like awakening Bertrand is not that mandatory. Um, whenever you are having Stia as a, a hero pair in any single Legion, uh, it means you're gonna stay alive longer. It means you are going to have shields, buffs, uh, healing. So like Thea just gives you a lot of protection in general and I think Bertrand needs a lot of protection in order to use those gold, uh, golden marks in general. As for the Celestials, in terms of the Wyverns and that's the Legion hero pair I'm using, uh, Craig is my primary and Thea is my secondary. While Craig is basically a uh, skill damage factor type of um, uh, hero pair, um, hero in general, I know Craig is epic, but, but if you will think twice, uh, Thea is giving so much buffs to Craig that Craig becomes kind of legendary hero. That's how much buffs and how interesting Craig is as a hero, and for now we don't have any other alternatives in terms of Wyverns, that's why Craig and Thea would be my choice if you are playing um, as a um, Wilderberg. And yeah, I forgot if you are playing Bertrand uh, and and Thea, you are going for uh, Mirage Orb, that's the best artifact for Bertrand, and you are dealing an amazing amount of damage with Mirage Orb, and I know it's really hard to get it, but we still need to think about and talk about Mirage Orb, right? If you are playing as a Wilderberg and you have Craig and Thea, generally I like this hero pair simply because every single artifact, marksman artifact, will be suitable for this hero pair, like even epic ones, like even even Shadow Blades, even Heart of Kamasi, uh, even, even Rattle Spear, uh, Heart Purser, like every single Marksman artifact, more of a damage dealer type of artifact, uh, will be great with this hero pair. This last one for the flying uh, hero pairs is four on deal with Thea. Uh, well, I, in my opinion, forest eagles are weakest special units in the game, and that's why I put four on deal in the back. Well, uh, it's pretty easy to understand. You are playing spring wardens. Four on deal looks like an eagle if you look it correctly, and Thea is the best flying hero in the game. I, I could simply put only Thea here, and it will be pretty easy to understand why when and why it's so good but let's keep it like this i like it so much that's the uh, best um, hero pairs for the flying units open field battlefield the second choices for almost every single legion type in this game uh, we are going to put like this right for example for marksmen Sindrian and Fregar, right? Like, that's easy to understand. Uh, for in terms of Magrat and Zaida, they have healing and they are normal attackers. Uh, in terms of Sindrian and Fregar, they are normal attackers with crit. Uh, but in order for you to fulfill the full potential of this hero pair, you are going to have to awaken both of them, right? That's the second choice for marksmen. In terms of, um, like, for example, mages, in my opinion, uh, well, you could simply go uh, Bertrand and Tohar. Um, I would put Tohar here. That will be like uh, my second choice in terms of mage uh, units. But I'm gonna keep uh, Bertrand here. Uh, Tohar will stay here alone because I don't want to ruin the flying uh, style which we choose. So let's keep Tohar here. That would be like the second choice for the uh, mages. In terms of cavalry, well, it's pretty easy to understand. You just put Bakshi here and Emerson and Bakshi actually would be my second choice if you don't have Theodore. Uh, in terms of uh, infantry, that's pretty interesting. In, in my eyes, in my opinion, uh, Garwood and uh, Madeline, or doesn't really matter, like here, Madeline and Garwood would be my second choice. Um, that's the hero pair like I would run if I don't have Goresh and Skolgul. Um, like Garwood will give us a lot of HP, a lot of healing. Uh, Madeline will give us a Legion capacity, which makes us tankier naturally. So that's the second choice uh, for the infantry. Now, well, of course, I should put Hosk here because Hosk is uh, like alone so good that it will almost be great with every single hero pair in the game. Like, for example, Hosk and Kinara is amazing. Uh, but Hosk with like even Lilia it will be amazing. This is gonna make you tankier with a lot of debuffs. But here we are speaking about the best and the best 
now open field hero pairs currently we are having in the game and in my opinion for marksman it's Margot and Zayda, for mages it's Lilia and Welin, for cavalry it's Theodore and Emrys, for infantry it's Goresh and Skolgul, and for flying depending which uh, faction you have, for Celestials is Bertrand and Thea, for Wyverns is Craig and Thea, and for Forest Eagles that's Thea, that's Forondil and Thea. That's my opinion for the season Sob 2 uh, based open field uh, hero pairs, so as always share your opinion, tell me what do you think, um, maybe you have different idea, maybe you have better experience in terms of these heroes, because as I have mentioned, uh, my main legion type is marksman, and I'm trying my best to have every single marksman in the game, which I'm pretty sure we'll have at the end of the day. I hope everybody is having an amazing day, and everybody is enjoying the new season, because there will be a lot of exciting uh, changes um, to the game, like such as home realms, such as uh, KVK kingdoms, and in general I like the direction where this game is going uh, if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make content for this game and yeah I hope everybody will have amazing day morning or night wherever you are we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck